All right, folks. <clears throat> First podcast in a while. Hope no, I don't do too many ums and ahs. So what I'm going to be talking about today is um, how to use Microsoft Word to help you in your open coding process. So let's say you've downloaded <coughs> your um, recordings of your interviews to uh, your computer and you've taken the time to listen to them carefully and transcribe <coughs> them out word for word. Um, <coughs> and then you want to go through the process of, of coding them. Um, so while there is some highfalutin software called Atlas TI that has the ability to do open coding for you, we'll pick one here real, real, um, um, real, real quickly. Um, <coughs> see what's in it. There's nothing in it. Um, Um, so here's an open coding uh, 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 process. I mean, uh, uh, <coughs> a piece of software. It, it's nice. Um, uh, if you want to do a lot of qualitative research, I would suggest getting something like that. It costs a bunch of money, though. So. Um, <coughs> Oops, wrong button. All right, back in the saddle. So you've down. Oops, wrong button. All right, back in the saddle. So you've downloaded your your uh, transcript, uh, your record. All right, back in the saddle. So you've downloaded your your uh, transcript. Uh, your recordings, had them transcribed. Uh, perhaps you're you're uh, uh, using a lot of um, of archived data from uh, <coughs> um, your institution. Um, whatever the case, so you've got you've got it in a, a word compatible format. Um, <coughs> one way, and there are several ways, but one way to do your open coding is to simply use under the review tab um, of Microsoft Word uh, the comment fu function. And so um, <coughs> uh, uh, so you see I've already started doing this, putting some comments in. Uh, it's a pretty simple process. You just uh, select the text that you want to uh, code. You can right click. Say new comment. Um, at the WASC, she found food and shelter and was introduced uh, to ayahuasca. So uh, <clears throat> I'm going to code this as seeking shelter. Well, I can also. Click that again and insert a new comment called "How Introduced." Now this is how this this particular woman was introduced to the ayahuasca religion, um, <coughs> and um, um, so whereas all the rest of these are single lines that have one idea, this is a single line that has two different ideas. She was seeking food and shelter, and this was how she was introduced. Um, uh, let me do another one here. Her transportation was swift. Uh, so I'll just call that rapid change. Immediately quit using cocaine or any other drug, including alcohol and tobacco. 
uh, immediate abstinence, abstinence. Um, she began to help out at the Wasi, and soon she achieved what was a semblance of a stable life and supportive community that she had never experienced. Um, so a couple ideas there, uh, helping others. Since I know helping others is a, is a theme in um, uh, support for substance abuse, this is what this is about. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put that. So um, <clears throat> uh, even though I could have put helping at the WASI or being of service or something like that. Um, um, and soon she achieved what was the first semblance of a stable life and supportive community. Um, I don't know what to call that. Having supportive community. And I could go on and on and on from there. Um, and I would if I was doing this for real. So uh, <clears throat> just for demonstration purposes, I had uh, introduced um, uh, into the document a um, picture of myself. Um, quite frankly, it is me, uh, my alter ego, actually. And one can uh, add comments to a picture just as easily as one can add comments to anything else. So, um, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, supporting the ruse, I'll call that. Um, uh, I, could, I, I should probably call it wishful thinking, actually. <laughs> so anyway, so, so here's my, here is my, um, um, uh, document. So uh, uh, let's say I've got all the rest of this done. And um, uh, uh, let me just go ahead and finish it real quick. New comment. I'm finished. Almost finished. And this one is, uh, we'll just call it last paragraph, just to get done. So, anyway, all right, so uh, correct my spelling. <clears throat> now what can I do? Well, in order to make things a little bit easier for myself, what I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce a, in my, uh, page layout function, between every paragraph, I'm going to introduce a page break. And my reason for doing that will become obvious here in a second. Uh, but what it's going to do for me is, is it's, it's going to help me keep stuff organized um, uh, when I do the next step. So, okay, so... I've got things organized into four pages. Let me go ahead and put a page number on there real quick so I can keep that all organized. Now, I want to print this stuff out. But I don't want to use my, my, my ordinary printing function. Um, uh, <clears throat> I want to print... The list of markup. So that's going to get all these comments that I have done on the side. Also, if I didn't make any in-text changes during the using the review function, that would show up as well. So, and I'll go ahead and print it really quick to a PDF file. Um, do, 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 do. And there it is. So here's my comments by page. Page one, final ceremony. Page two, inspiring story. And they're all in order. Um, now, what I would do with this, um, 
would be most likely just print it out the way it is uh, to pieces of paper, take my uh, uh, paper cutter and slice these up into, into these strips so that, so that I just have the individual codes. And then I would, then I would begin sorting uh, them into categories and themes uh, as per the um, uh, other um, video titled Sorting into Categories and Themes. So thank you all very much. I uh, hope this uh, is helpful for you.